Hello everyone. Uh, today we will introduce you the new 356 series of uh, Cube's Rest laptop, and we let you know your plans or plans in the near future. Uh, first of all, a little introduction about the company. We are Nova Custom. We have three guys here. We established in 2015, and we called Nova Custom since 2018. We are uh, focused on custom customization of the laptops. For example, we do custom laser engravings. Um, that's it, yeah, um, with the share of cobalt firmware. We support Windows and Linux, or even both at the same time as a dual boot setup. We are highly, uh, we, are privacy, we are focused on privacy and security, and we highly recommend the right to repair and sustainability. You can find more about us on our website, always novacustom.com. Uh, the roadmap of today, uh, time is over there, we'll tell you something about the right to repair. Uh, and the new laptop that's over there, the V56 series, Cubes OS certified. Vessel will then tell you something about the Intel boot card, the AC PI driver, the UEFI capsule updates, and the head firmware variants. Uh, Q3, this uh, quarter we have joined the right to repair community. We have um, released the new V series, as I told, uh, with Cubes OS. Uh, last week, we've obtained Cube's Rest certification, and uh, we have something to party as we now offer other laptops with the Shero Cobot firmware. So that means no more proprietary firmware. So, hello everybody. My name is Tim Veldhuis. So, last quarter we joined, last month we joined the Right to Repair community. So, we are now developing new videos like tutorial videos and that kind of stuff. Um, we were also developing new firmware updates for the next uh, year, in quarter one. Um, UEFI capsule updates, FWUPD support, Intel bootcard support, the shower ACPI driver, and as always, the bug fixes. So, about right to repair. Uh, so, as I told you, last month we joined the right to repair community, and uh, like to know that we are. Um, Available parts, spare parts for seven years. You can buy that on our website. Um, so I'm now making the repair guides and repair videos so that you for every component of the laptop you can search on YouTube or our website so you can replace it yourself. Yeah, that's what I thought. So about the new model, the V65. It's like a laptop and we have a 14 inch and a 16 inch. This one is the 16 inch. It comes with two processors. You have the Intel Meteor Lake 5 with 125 of 125 year age, and the uh, Ultra 7 CPU. It's up to 69 gigabytes of internal memory. Um, it's an optional NVIDIA uh, GPU, so you can choose with or without one. Um, so as now it's Cubes was certified last week, only for the models without the NVIDIA driver. Um, not yet for the V45, but it's on the planning, and the hatch variants come later, but we don't have an exact date for that yet. So I will show you some pictures of it. So that's in the front, and we have it right there, you can see it afterwards. And this is the 14 inch model, the V45. 54. 54. <laughs> so, that's all. Yeah, I'm Vessel. Um, Intel boot card support is uh, something that we would like to have for uh, for the next firmware update, which will be a comprehensive uh, firmware update in our opinion. Uh, so what is Intel boot card? Intel boot card is a security feature that uses an e-fuse so that basically only the firmware that has been developed by the shower can be used uh, on the laptop, otherwise it doesn't turn on at all. So that provides uh, protection against rootkits, but it will also limit the user because no other firmware than the, the shower uh, signed firmware can be run on the laptop, which is why we are making this feature optional. And we are even planning this with uh, custom uh, keys uh, for later on, and we would like to have this uh, ready in the first quarter of, of next year. So for our laptops, we would also like to have the Dashara ACPI driver. 
which provides communication between the operating system and the firmware so that you will get feedback from uh, from system level things like uh, the fan speed and CPU monitor. You will also get uh, backlight control feedback which we used to have for the for the, for the previous EC uh, variant. With such uh, ECPI drive you would also be able to set uh, power management profiles and uh, you can set for example the battery uh, threshold values uh, this would then all of course be possible without going without the need of going to the UEFI firmware settings then UEFI capsule updates was something we are working on uh, the goal is to update the firmware from the operating system with FWUPD without having to disable important security mechanisms. So for now you will have to uh, boot into the Dashauer tool suite environment to get the firmware updated. Uh, the problem up to now why we didn't have FWUPD support is the embedded controller which is not updatable from FWUPD. So uh, we have like work around this issue by flashing the EC up on first boot uh, within Cobalt itself. Uh, yeah, so once we have that, it is the ideal situation of updating your firmware from, from the OS without having to disable these security features. And we would also like to have uh, this feature for that next comprehensive firmware update. Then I would like to highlight the Cobalt Plus Hats version. We currently only offer this for the NV41 series. We would also like to have it later for the V54 and V56 series as well. But there are no concrete plans on this yet. It is offered through the, the shower entry subscription, with, which is uh, currently 80 euros a year. So what is HATS? HATS provides a boot integrity verification and it does this with a measured boot, which creates cryptographic hashes for each boot component. It uses the TPM hardware to securely store and attest these hashes. And you will need a USB security device, which is the Nitro Key 3 a Mene in our case. Uh, and on top of that, you could use your favorite authenticator app, uh, which uses TOTP for additional, uh, well, security verification, I would say. So this is perfect, I think, in combination with KubeSOS, which doesn't provide support yet for uh, UFA. UEFI security, um, UEFI secure boot, I mean. So yeah, as always, I would like to use this opportunity to, uh, for a call to unite. So everyone be active in community. You can report issues on GitHub. You can use our forum to discuss with our other Nova custom laptop owners, and you can chat in the matrix room. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I would actually like to uh, show everyone the, the new laptop, so I'll do that now. Oh, um, maybe it's uh, better for us to, to, to ask if there are any questions. Completely forgot that. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll show it. Could also show it to the camera. Maybe. Yeah, okay. For the YouTubers. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I don't know where to place it, like here? Just as in the yellow line, it will be okay. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's okay. So let's see how fast uh, Firefox uh, runs like the cube is not running yet, so. There we go. And it also features the cube so as super key. Yeah. I'll show the people here. Questions? There you go. Well, 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, there are some questions. Yeah. <laughs> there are? There are. There is a line for the questions. Sure. Hi. Um, I think for everybody in this room, it's pretty clear why these are amazing machines and uh, why I would love one. But um, what's your best argument for normal people outside of this room and that aren't using cubes why Nova Custom is much better than all of the other? Yeah, so we provide some cool customization options for the, for the laptop. Like you can, if you would like, you can design your own keyboard. <laughs> So uh, that's something that might be attractive for you. Also, the, the right to repair stuff that uh, Tim was talking about, the sustainability uh, aspect of that. Uh, yeah, and of course, we provide to, we aim to provide some better support than usual because uh, we offer three years of warranty by default, uh, five years of uh, firmware updates uh, guaranteed, and uh, well, these seven years of spare parts availability. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, so, uh, regarding keyboard customization, any plans for the option with trackpad, uh, trackpoint? <laughs> no, this is not something I, I, I'm sorry for that. So, for the hardware aspect, we are uh, relying on Clevo, which is our ODM provider. They, uh, they have their own designs, and uh, we do not have really influence on their designs, unfortunately. If we would like to have something like that, they say, uh, come buy 10,000 units uh, from us, which is not realistic for us. So that's, yeah, that's what I'd say. And uh, I've seen some announcement about uh, kill switches for microphones. Yes, that's and something uh, we're still working on, which takes a little bit more time than, 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 we, uh, than we hoped. So we are still uh, working on this. Um, I, I do not dare to say when when this will be live. So. And one uh, more question: uh, smart card reader in, in any model? I'm not sure if Clevo support that, but yeah, it's so something. it's not like the the same answer I, I have as for the trackpad. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's not realistic for us to have such a feature, unfortunately. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Does Clever offer AMD, and do you think it's feasible to do? Like I'm not saying about the Dashara part. Dashara part is our. <laughs> I mean, work, yeah, of course. But, is, and yeah. I, w I would say, you know, we we coming to open seal era uh, in 2026. Yes. This is something we would really like to uh, to step in for AMD hardware. But uh, Clever is doing more and more with uh, with AMD, so they go go in the in the good direction, I'd say. Uh, still, they don't have like a model with only uh, AMD CPU and uh, AMD GPU or integrated GPU uh, with, l let's say, DDR5 memory. Okay, okay. So That's once they have such a model and a, a, a decent model, because we, Cleaver offers like a range of, of laptops, we always want to have the, the, the good quality standard and skip, skip the lower standards. Yeah, I, I think that's that's a good point that we would like to target probably the AMD GPU because Nvidia is kind of arrogant yeah. right now, yeah. very arrogant. Yeah. I don't know if more arrogant than AMD, but we will see. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question regarding uh, sustainability uh, and the lifetime of laptops. Uh, as you already presented, you were find, found it a couple of time ago. So the question is, uh, do you have an experience with the one of the first models of yours, uh, how long they are used by customers and if you could see uh, how they are degraded over the time regarding the quality of parts and when they are replaced or maybe which parts are the... Yeah, I think this is something we learned ab about from, from the past. Uh, the, there were some models, I have to admit, that were not so good for, for when it comes to, to the quality of the, of the case, mm -hmm. which which was also problematic for us because sometimes it's even happened within the three years, uh, which is in the in the warranty, uh, like in the war warranty mm -hmm. time. So this is why it was even more important to us to only to only have the the higher quality models and 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 no longer offer the cheaper but also 
cheaper in, in, in terms of the, the, the quality. So this is what we learned from that. And this is why, um, yeah, so we, we are going into this direction of, of more sustainability, which is what we are really trying to do now with, with uh, repair stuff. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, support it. Thank you. Uh, I have a question regarding the Intel boot guard uh, plans. So, so I think you are providing to, together with the uh, uh, um, for five years firmware support. Yes. Uh, do you have some plan what you're gonna do uh, afterwards? Given that, assuming somebody in the community would like to fix some old uh, uh, firmware, and uh, with boot guard you are locked out. So, so do you have a plan for something like this? I can take what this vessel if you want. So, that's yeah. uh, that was already exercised with uh, with PC engines. You know PC engines. Yeah. So switch around routers. Um, essentially, company is no longer existing. Mm -hmm. um, they sold quite a lot of hardware on the market. So uh, the Shadow team just decided to do a paid version of the of the uh, of the package. So there is the Shadow Pro package and Enterprise package for. I don't know, like 46 euro or something like that a year. And uh, thanks to that, we can do the releases. Of course, if the volume is makes sense, if the volume doesn't make sense, then we typically kind of trying to um, not not prolong that. Yeah. So if there will be enough people interested in continuing, that's that's fine. The problem is uh, the keys for, for the Intel boot guard and how it will be signed. Of course, if we will have the keys, it, it's possible to provide that service. If we will not have the keys, so those would be, for example, Nova custom keys or some custom keys. So I, I guess like if someone will choose the option of custom keys, they have to already admit that they will compile the stuff themselves. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the options. Uh, that's our plan for, uh, for firmware updates. Yeah, that's also why I think it's important to make this feature optional. Yeah. Okay, that's it, I think.